all right ladies and gentlemen i just want to say thank you for the huge support on the channel so far we just hit like over 4300 subs what was it again i'm uploading a video already so i can't even check i think it's like 4300 and like 30 ish so huge thank you to that uh and i have a special video today tomorrow we will be doing another box review for viewers uh i guess let me just find my discord real quick there should be a link in the description uh and you can join our discord and if you go to right here right here we have tony box review thank god i did not click on the one above that tony box review you can drop your box and i will review it uh i don't know how many parts i'm gonna be doing um i already have a set checkpoint for where i will be starting tomorrow um but yeah, there are a lot. So if you want to be entered in, you know, just join. If you want to re-update yours, you can re-upload re yours uh, or resubmit yours. Uh, but yeah, I will be starting somewhere in here. I'm going to have to find it. So yeah, um, okay, I'll find out later. But either way, let's go through this video. I have just hit a new high on my box CC. 11 million box CC box you see i think i hit 10 million back around the slime collab i want to say so about 1 million box you see uh 1 million realistically isn't that big of a increase realistically um but once you like factor in the fact that i'm so high up and i can't just continuously like slap sa6s on every single unit uh, it, it does tend to make a difference and also the biggest fact uh, I physically can't uh, slap gear on like anyone almost except maybe like the Sui unit no not even the suicide units um, but yeah I'm just gonna go, go through and how I did it and what I did um, I highly suggest level 16 everyone uh, level 16 your base units every single unit except for like the two suicide units you know the Liz and the Frowdron I guess but even then, I think is like whatever. Uh, I know it costs pendants and whatnot, but if you want to build your box, you see, I think eight million is a goal that almost any player should have because you get a huge uh, HP buff. If you guys don't know, you do get a huge HP buff uh, once you get a certain uh, box, you see. Uh, what's eight million? Thirteen percent uh, HP increase. Because see, it goes by uh, one point five, then point five, and then uh, one point five, point five, and then an extra point five, but. Either way, so I think it's a huge increase. It definitely, definitely helps. I, I think it's worth it, especially because you will be increasing your constellation. Uh, if you finish this one, I think that's a, not this one, uh, this one, Envy is a pretty good goal. This one is absurd. This one is absurd. Uh, but yeah, so let's just go uh, right on through all my units. Like if you, you know, I, I, I've worked pretty hard on my box. I have equipped every single unit with gear, uh, mainly HP defense, got some attack gears in there. HP life still for the Molasco, obviously. Um, and this is what I did. This is what I did. I went through all of my units. I made sure to equip the best uh, weapons or headpieces or any of that. Made sure you know there you are. Uh, the best substats, I believe, is life steal for this. Uh, I basically just went for the most percentage, though. The most percentages. So that way uh, you get the most CC out of it. I didn't worry too much about the percentage, uh, like the actual substats, to be honest. Unless it's a unit I use, like I prefer lifesteal, I prefer resistance, and then mainly like crit chance and crit damage for uh, the weapon. But I guess that mainly depends on the unit. Uh, like some of them just need a crit, and then it's fine. Some of them rely on massive crit damage, like Derriere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then another thing, the gear. The gear. Every single unit I am working on has SSR gear for the most part. Some of them have SSR or are our gear um i recommend for newer players to just equip our gear c gear uc gear anything like that slowly evolve it over time spread it throughout your entire box it doesn't have to be like all the same gear or anything just slap it in there get the cc buff uh hp pieces in the four corners that way if you build the set it's easier to evolve over time and not like have to like swap out pieces or anything you learn the hard way after playing the game for so long you just want to keep your gear in the same spots through for all of your units um i used to do it like this but then uh, i found it very annoying to swap it out if i want to like hp crit chant or ap crit damage i want the crit in the middle uh, yeah it's just easier because then i don't have to make an extra piece 
that that's basically uh, what it is uh and then another thing once you get so far you know you have like all your units uh like ssr i don't have all of them uh rolled like uh five star obviously but i have quite a few um i start re-rolling the base stat i waste anvils and i started re-rolling the base stats um, if you're getting R gear, I believe 14% uh, HP is equal to 7% uh, HP rolls on an SSR. So if you have 14% on an R piece, it's about the same CC as 7.5 to 7 to 7.5% uh, HP rolls on an SSR piece. So keep that in mind. Uh, so once you start evolving to the SSR gear, that's what you want to aim for, and that's how you'll know if you have more uh, CC. Uh, so if you just want to stick to just re-rolling with gold because it's much much cheaper to farm gold than it is to farm anvils because obviously you want to use anvils on units that you actually like and need rather than using it on useless pieces of gear in here um, but I did it because I wanted to increase my box I was doing it for guild wars etc I'm not in guild wars anymore but as you can see I would just set it to 1% HP and I just let it roll I just let it rip like I got 10% there I got I haven't rolled this one yet uh, I could, I, I guess I'll just show you real quick. Sometimes it costs over 200 anvils, sometimes it doesn't. This is probably a mistake though, because I do have a kid not coming out soon. But as you can see, look at that. But look at that. This last one's going to be a piece of shit, isn't it? But this is basically what I do. Is it the most effective? Probably not. But this is what I do to increase my box, you see. There you go, 80 anvils, this, whatever, that's fine. Uh, the base stat, I just re-roll it till it goes up a little bit. Till it hits like halfway, to be honest, and I'm just like, okay, that's fine. Nothing too big. And the reason I don't do the attack pieces or defense pieces is because it's the exact same things you're doing to your HP pieces, but it gives less CC because HP scales way more, you get more HP, uh, or your way more CC from the more HP you get versus the attack and defense so since i don't even have all the hp pieces like max what's the point in re-rolling the attack and defense pieces like some of them i have leveled up just because i like had the pieces and i just slapped it on like as you see like i have defense pieces i could probably just max these out it would add a little bit of cc uh, it adds up over time um i don't even have this bottom one but if i have any r pieces i usually max it go for like 13 to 14 percent uh rolls in total but that's just how I do it. Uh, people obviously can do it differently. Um, yeah, like, I, I just have a, a lot of gear. Uh, I can still definitely improve. Like, it, like it, it's like whatever. Like, I have quite a bit of gear to still go through. Um, another thing is obviously what I did. I went through and essayed every unit in my box, except for the suicide units. I essayed them uh, up to where they needed extra, like the extra essay coins. Uh, like this, I think he's yeah, he's one six. So I would not essay this guy because it costs an extra two hundred and twenty-five. Um, let's just keep going, keep going, keep going. Like all these units, I will not essay two. Um, I can essay Hauser now, and boom, uh, we will essay him because he uh, doesn't cost me anything extra. Uh, you want to go for the HP buffs mainly, so at uh, three six and five six for older units, or not not. 5, 6, but like SA5, uh, but the newer units need uh, SA6, as you can see, like he gets just raw stat, uh, base stats, or uh, percentages or whatever, uh, from SA5, so you want to focus on the older units, and like the year one units, like Blue Giant Diane, Blue King, th those sort of units, that way they get the huge uh, stat increase at SA5, not SA6, um, let's see if I can find a really old unit, um, like you i assume you get like quite a bit of buffs from sa5 yeah like 5000 hp from sa5 that's good sa6 obviously gives 6000 um but if it was a newer unit uh they would give like a 10 or 11000 uh hp from that i guess i could have just went to that bond these are all sa6 um I meant this Hauser, by the way, this Hauser. He should be considered a new unit, right? Yeah, 9,000 HP. Like, you don't want to SA the newer units because it's that SA6, especially if they're, like, a bad unit like this Hauser. Um, you just want to work on the older units and SA them over time. Obviously, yes, this is a bit of a stretch. Not many people can be SAing their entire box. Uh, but it added quite a bit of GP into my box as well, so I thought that it would be worth it over time. 
uh, obviously, like, SR units are he a huge W because they do give quite a bit of uh, CC, like 10,000 CC, and they're obviously cheaper overall. So it is massively worth it to SA6 them or SA5, whatever their huge uh, stat is. Crazy that she gets 7,000 and 10,000 HP. That is an insane amount of CC. My god, I, I need to SA her, but I have to save for a re-zero. Because uh, I'm going to be going for them. Um, to, uh, another thing, like I, I guess I'll just show you my pride and joys, really. Like, my favorite units. I, uh, probably my favorite units in the game. Uh, uh, come on. Like, I, I, I love this unit. She is so hot. I Leave me alone. Uh, I haven't maxed out all of her outfits because, you know, the SSR ones take up quite a bit. I maxed out all of her weapons because I maxed all five the instant they dropped. And then they dropped the paint roller one, I think. And then this one had better stats than the base one, so I swapped this one in. Um, I dropped, I maxed all the headpieces because I wanted to see which one gave the most CC. Also, I just realized I'm covering it. Uh, so I thought, I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just max them all just to see which one gave the most CC. And I believe that these are the best ones. Um, so it's like whatever uh if if you know you know you know 15 percent uh basic st uh, rolls i went five uh no 2500 anvils for an extra two hp and i didn't even get the max base stat so maybe one day one day i'll uh like 100 percent all of it um but yeah also okay i hate this song i don't know why i have it in this playlist i just need to get rid of it let me just put on my 16 minute song there we go uh, you know, 15%, one off, like, it's basically near perfection. Uh, she is so close, so close to 69,000 CC. If you can't see it, it's so close. Um, another unit, uh, I think my attack crit gear is almost, like, 15%. Yeah, like, we have, uh, the defense pieces are almost there. Wasted quite a few hammers on the, uh, Thonar gear, though. I had to make sure she was good enough for the, uh, wolf unit. Uh, we got Eskinor's gear. I believe this should be 15%. Yep, this was my first UR gear set. Favorite unit back in the day. Don't really care for him anymore. Maybe we'll get an actual cool version of Eskinor. I just can't stand the one. He's just really bland to me now. Um, another unit I 15%ed. Uh, if y'all are here back in the day, we uh, UR'd this man. 15%. Uh, highest ruin in the entire game covering his outfits we, we we max them all we max them all i was working on alioni i might have maxed out alioni's cosmetics no uh we, we were close we were close but uh, actually we were so far away this cost like 200 um but yeah we have every single r unit with ur gear you know just because uh, we used to just do r gear videos ha they all are level 100 but i don't know where the other r units are they're they're somewhere they're somewhere but i know i did level 100 all of them I don't know where they are. Or did I not level 100 all of them? Did I only level 100 these four? Huh, I guess that's all I did. Oh well, those are the only four cool R characters to me anyways. Um, we got 15% of uh, Lilia gear, not Amelia, but uh, Lilia gear. Uh, one of my uh, favorite OCs, probably my only favorite OC. I don't really care about any of the o other OCs. That is making my face cam bigger. Uh, the other OCs are just kind of bland to me. And th Lilia is just really hot, so huge W. Um, yeah, like oh, we we got the goat. <laughs> this was just pure Guild Wars, so uh, you know that th this was a huge waste. We also got Ludo 100% as well, if y'all don't know. Um, but uh, oh, dude, this outfit I actually kind of like this casual looking outfit. But I don't want to buy it. it. Has terrible stats. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Like, we... I guess I can show my uh, ultimate moves. Uh, can we sort by ultimate moves? Right, descending, yeah. So I guess I'll show my uh, six, uh, at six, six units. We, uh, we, we have quite a few. We, <laughs> we have quite a few. Dear God, holy... Dude, we have so many. And then it starts to fall apart. Yeah, like 5-6, five, 5-6. Six, five, six. Like all, all my Eastons are 5-6. I don't have a singular 6-6 six, six Easton, I'm pretty sure. I think I have one, actually. Um, I'm slowly working on the Dianes. Like, I almost have all of my Dianes 6-6. Uh, six, six, but, you know, some of those final dupes are just kind of uh, tricky. Yeah, we have like three-fourths of our box. 
Um, maybe like three fifths. Uh, all six six. That is absurd. Absurdity. We almost have our first six six Malasco. That I have. I just. I. I finally have pulled a few dupes of her. It's. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Uh. This banner treated me pretty nicely. I have went in quite a bit more than I uh, wanted to just because I was uh, chasing some Alaska dupes. I really want, wait, is she on this banner? No, she's on the, she's on the Esterosa banner. Yeah, I went like an extra 200 gems, pulled some Glocks, pulled some uh, Malaskalas. Overall, it, it went pretty well. Um, gonna be saving for ReZero now, just going one rotation. Um, if I assert by favorites, boom. Every single Diane level 100. I should have opened with this. I completely forgot that I favored them. Um, if I turn Ultimate Vaughn, they're all 6 6 except for two of them Halloween Diane, a limited unit, and Summer Diane, a limited unit, because I stopped like spending on the game at that time. Like, I just. I couldn't do it. Uh, she didn't have that great of a banner, and I just. 1 6 is fine, to be honest. I have Ragnarok Diane, the better unit, anyways. Uh, but. Yeah, that is basically my box. Remember, I will be uh, doing a box showcase for you guys in the Discord. Link in description. Hopefully, you guys can make it to that. Um, if you guys have any questions, like how I uh, UR gear or any gear you need me to UR or anything, or like how I UR it, like attack crit on a unit or uh, HP defense, anything like that, let me know. Let me know. Um, but yeah that is pretty much it i don't really know what else i can really go over i mean i guess i can go over my i guess i'll go over relics i did get every single relic uh besides like the wolf ones like i didn't get chandler's his is pretty lame i don't care for it uh drools i'm really contemplating on getting scotty's like all the giant ones seem somewhat interesting to me but with the esterosa being around and he just encroaches you and they only increase stats and he takes away 40 percent of all stats like doesn't really work i can't lie it's just like yeah, i don't know if it's really worth it anymore um but yeah those are the holy relics uh now let's just go over the box like we got i've been farming the bird and the deer i've been doing one run one to two runs every single day uh since the double drops came haven't really been farming demons i don't think i've even done mine today i haven't farmed demons in like ages like the actual demons like i just get them from my monthly pack to be honest and then i call it a day um got quite a few stones got 24 of those got 61 of the deer ones almost 200 of the bird ones haven't bought a deer or bird holder relic in months uh or like crafted it i guess not bought um got s stars got, got a few pendants got six seven hundred anvils uh we're, we're we're slowly going we're slowly going um we have two thousand keys uh, we got three hundred boxes. I just recently used my boxes because they don't get SSR rate ups at all, which kind of sucks. So it's just like whatever. Uh, don't really have anything in here. I think I have almost every single card. We're like eight car, uh, twelve cards off. We're slowly getting there. Um, I think we have every single set. I do believe. I think I have every single one. I don't know. I could be missing some, but either way, we got like basically like all of them. Uh, oh, that one's a max. We don't have all the max, though, obviously, because that takes so many cards. Like, it, the amount of cards it takes to max is out is actually insane. I, it's so much. But, yeah, uh, that is the uh, review, the account review. Let me know down below what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Take care. Peace out. Peace.